Hello everyone, welcome back to Villainous. We have the villain uh, pile, or the fate deck shuffled, the villain pile shuffled. Uh, we have 20 rounds to win. Uh, we have the fate die, where we will fate ourselves on 1, 2, 3, or 4. And it's a 10-sided die, so that makes a 40% uh, chance of being fated. We're playing Prince John today. I have the pamphlet just in case, because I haven't played him too much. And I also just kind of like how the pamphlet looks in the video. Anyways. The way Prince John wins is uh, start your turn with at least 20 power. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, uh, but uh, maybe a little bit of a challenge to actually accomplish. But the reason he is so uh, such a straightforward um, objective is the reason why if I am playing with someone new for the first time, I'll usually uh, let them play as Prince John as their first uh, playthrough. But anyways, let's just uh, get started. So let me just bring my chair closer. Alright, and we'll start by drawing four cards. Alright, and let's see what we have. So we have a uh, beautiful, lovely taxes, cost zero to play. It's an effect card, gain one power for each hero in your realm. Uh, warrant costs one power. It's an uh, item card. Gain two power for each uh, time a hero is played to this location. Uh, trigger. It's an ally. Costs two power. All other allies at Trigger's location get minus one strength. And Cowardice, a condition card. Uh, during their turn, if another player has three or more allies in their realm, you may play Cowardice, play an ally from your hand for free. And uh, that is it. So uh, let's begin. Oh, <laughs> and I don't have the little pawn out. So let me get that out. Okay, so everyone always starts there, but you can't, you have to move somewhere. So we're going to move to the jail. We're going to get uh, three power. And you know what? Let's move this. So that doesn't really co-mingle with our, our, what we have over here. Um, and let's see if we'll play anything. Why don't we spend... Uh, hmm. The thing is, we don't really want to spend anything as... Uh, Prince John, unless we have to, because we want to get that 20 power. Um, so why don't we, we'll discard Cowardice, because we have the discard action. We can play one card still. Um, why don't we play, uh, we'll spend one power to play Warrant at uh, Friar Tuck's Church. That way it's uh, a deterrent to placing uh, heroes there. So that's it for that turn. Let me just make sure everything's in frame. Okay So let's see if we get faded uh, Five we do not move down round 19 draw two cards to get back up to four And we got uh, Sheriff of Nottingham uh, Cost three to play at the start of your turn you may move Sheriff of Nottingham if there are any heroes at his new location, gain one power. Huh, so it sounds like we can just move them wherever. It doesn't have to be an adjacent location. Uh, let's just make sure if he's in here or not. Because again, I haven't really played this character. Okay, so I'm going to assume that I can move him wherever I want. Uh, and the next one, set a trap. It's an effect card, costs one to play. You may move an ally to any location, perform a vanquish action. That's pretty good. Okay, so um, let's hold on to those. We're going to move here, collect two power, and, uh, and let's just end the turn there. So let's see if we get faded. A four, so we get faded. So... Uh, Alan Adale, a uh, hero uh, with two strength. All other heroes in Prince John's realm gets plus one strength. Or Clever Disguise, attached uh, Clever Disguise to a hero. That hero cannot be defeated at any time. 
Prince John may pay two power to discard Clever Disguise. So we can't play Clever Disguise because you need to attach it to a hero and there are no heroes out yet, so discard it. So uh, the uh, imaginary opponent would play this and they really would play him either here or here because here would not be anything bad for uh, Prince John because there's no actions to block. Uh, they wouldn't play him here because I would get two power if I play a hero there or if the opponent plays a hero there. So they would either place it here or here. Um, let's just, uh, let's place it here. Why not? Okay, uh, so we move down around 18. We would draw back up to four, but we already have four cards, so we can't. Uh, so why don't we go to the jail, we'll get three power, and why don't we, hmm, I mean, I guess we'll just play Beautiful Lovely Taxes, and we'll get one power for each hero in our realm, which will be one. So we'll just gain a power. Okay, that's it for that round. Let's see if we get faded. Uh, Ten, we do not. Uh, we move down around seventeen. We draw one card. What do we get? We got Greed. Uh, greed. During their turn, if another player has six or more power, you may play Greed, gain three power. Now, the way we do condition cards in solo mode is we have to meet the condition, and if we meet the condition, then we can play the condition card as a free uh, action. And so, right now, we definitely have more than three power, so we're going to play this as our free action. Gain, uh, what did it say, three power? And uh, now we can continue our turn. We'll go here, gain two power, and let's just uh, reassess how much power we have because uh, we're getting this power pretty quickly, faster than I thought we would. So that's five. That's 10. So we have 13. So we're ha more than halfway on the way to winning. So why don't we do something? Because we're <laughs> right now we're like winning way too easily. Um, why don't we spend uh, two power, and we'll put this guy. Uh, we'll put trigger there, and uh, and we'll leave it at that for now. Oh, well, we could play another card, but we're not going to. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, so let's see if we get faded. Uh, Ten, we do not. Move down around 16. Draw two cards to get back up to four. So we got... Uh, Imprison, it's an effect, costs two uh, power to play. Uh, move a hero to the jail. And Cowardice, during their turn, if another player has three or more allies in their realm, you may play Cowardice, play an ally from your hand for free. And again, we would do that in the same way, because it's a condition card, we have to meet the condition, and then we could uh, do the condition as a free action. So, um... Let's see, so what we'll do is we will go to the jail, we'll get three power, uh, and we're going to spend, uh, where is it, we'll spend two power to put, uh, actually no, we're not going to spend two power, because uh, we want to get rid of this guy because he gives everyone else plus one strength. So um, what we'll do is we'll discard cowardice with our discard action, and we'll hold on to everything else. So um, let's uh, see if we get faded. Got an eight, move down around 15, uh, draw one card. And what do we get? Wolf Archers, uh, ally, cost two to play. 
Wolf Archers may be used to defeat a hero at their location or at an adjacent location. Ooh, I like those. Um, so we'll, on this turn, go here. We'll use a Trigger with four strength to defeat Alanadale with two strength. Ba boom And uh, these become imme immediately available, so we'll get the one power, which gives us five uh, here. So now we're at 15, so we're three quarters of the way to winning. And uh, when I play solo mode, the fate uh, action I treat as just reducing my the chances of me being fated by the fate die by half. So instead of being fated on a 1, 2, 3, or 4, we will be fated only on a 1 or 2, uh, making it a 20% chance instead of a 40% chance. So let's see if that happens. And, of course, it lands on a 1, so let's get faded. Okay, so, first uh, option, steal from the rich, an effect card. Take 4 power from Prince John and put it on any one hero. When that hero is defeated, uh, the power is returned to Prince John. There are no heroes, so that is not even uh, possible to play. King Richard, uh, Prince John cannot play effects. Okay. Uh, let's see, well, we put someone there last time, let's put someone here this time. So now I cannot play effects. So we move down around uh, 14. We have four cards, so we can't draw any. So let's see what our options are. So yeah, so we can't move him to the jail. So let's see if we can vanquish him after we get uh, some... Uh, So let's go here. We'll get a uh, two power. Uh, but you know what? We're not even actually going to play anything because um, all we need to do is move here next turn and win. So <laughs> let's just uh, see if we get faded. Uh, nine, we do not. But you know what? Um, yeah. You know what, we're going to fate, well, no, no, we'll, we'll keep to tradition, because uh, tradition has not come in yet. So we still have four, so we just move down around 13. We move here, gain three power. Okay, so now we have 20, we're at our win condition, and now is when the tradition kicks in. So because we only need to start our next turn and we win, let's... Uh, uh, we're going to, instead of rolling the fate die, we're going to automatically fate ourselves and see if anything would prevent us from winning. Okay, so let's see. So we have Little John. When Little John is played, take four power from Prince John and put it on Little John. When uh, Little John is defeated, the power is, oh, the power is returned to Prince John. Okay, that would prevent us from winning. Uh, take four power from Prince John and put it on any one hero when the hero is defeated. The uh, powers return to Prince John. So, this pretty much does the same thing, uh, but it's worse for us if we play Little John because he covers up some actions. So, we'll do that. So, we take uh, four power. Put it on Prince John, or Little John. Now we need to uh, defeat Little John in order to get that back. Okay. Uh, so what we will do now is we move down to round 12. We're going to go here. We're going to gain two power. And uh, let's see. So we can't play any effect cards while uh, King Richard is out. Um, huh. I mean, we could play cards, but if we just hold out, we might be able to win. So let's just hold out. Uh, let's see if we get faded. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, two, we get faded. Lady Cluck. Lady Cluck cannot be played or moved to the jail. Or Robin Hood. So, um... The amount of power that Prince John gains from each card or action is reduced by one power. Or Lady Cluck cannot be played or moved to the jail. Uh, let's see. 
well, I guess Robin Hood. Um, so why don't we play Robin Hood? Uh, we'll play him here. That way the opponent would block uh, block all of our actions. Uh, instead of gaining two power because of Robin Hood's ability, we'll just gain one power from that. Okay. So that is the end of that round, or that fate action. Move down to round 11. We still have four cards. Uh, and uh, what we'll do is we'll move to the jail. We'll get three power. So we are again at our win condition by more than enough. Um, so how much do we have? Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Okay, so we have 22 power right now. So all we gotta do is start our turn and we win. So we're not even gonna roll the fate die. We're just going to automatically fate ourselves and see if that would prevent us from winning. Okay, so um, clever disguise. Attach clever disguise to a hero. That hero cannot be defeated. Uh, anytime Prince John may pay two power to discard clever disguise. Or steal from the rich. Take four power from Prince John. Put it on any one hero. When that hero is defeated, the powers return to Prince John. So steal from the rich would prevent us from winning. So we'll do that. We're going to take a uh, four power. We'll put it on King Richard. Okay, so that prevented us from winning. We move down around ten. Uh, we still have four cards in our hand, so we're not going to draw any. Um, so, let's see, should we try and do something, <laughs> or should we just keep, uh, trying to win by doing nothing? Uh, let's see. So, why don't we go, we'll go here. Um, I mean, how much do we need, how much more do we need? So we have three here. Let's see if we can win without playing anything. <laughs> so let's see. So uh, we'll end the turn there by just moving. See if we get faded. Five, we do not. Move down around nine. We go over here. We're going to gain three power because we're not drawing any cards. We have four. That's one, two, three. Uh, yep, yeah, we have four cards. So let's see if we lose. Or win, or well, let's see if we win or be prevented from winning. So, because we're at our win condition again, we're not going to roll the fate die, we're going to automatically fate ourselves. Okay, so I think we win. So, um, Skippy, wolf archers cannot be used to defeat Skippy, that would not prevent us from winning. Clever Disguise. Attach Clever Disguise to a hero. That hero cannot be defeated at any time. Prince John may pay two power to discard, clev uh, to discard Clever Disguise. So even if we play both, so we'll put this on Robin Hood so that we can't defeat him until we pay two power. And we'll put this over here so that the Wolf Archers cannot defeat Skippy. Doesn't matter. We have started our turn at round eight. We don't need to draw any cards because we still have four. And uh, we can move anywhere, doesn't matter. We have started our turn with more than, we have with 21 power, let alone 20. So there we go. And just to prove it, let's count them out. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And there you have it. We have won as uh, Prince John by getting more than 20 power at the start of our turn. So uh, that is it for this video. It is now time to recite the litany of the meme. The night is dark and full of terrors, but I know that we will live long and prosper, for the force will be with us always against the forces of he who must not be named as we remember to keep it secret, keep it safe, until the day we assemble in the name of Muad'Dib. So, say, we all!